It's looking more likely that Congress could blow past yet another government funding deadline and force a partial shutdown. Carolyn Shively has the latest from Washington. It's crunch time in Congress. They're almost out of time and money. A shutdown is looming over us starting on January 19th. That leaves them a week to push 12 appropriations bills through committee, both houses and the White House. Unlikely, so it might be time for Plan B. The temporary extension of government funding. It's called a continuing resolution and would fund the government at current levels for a few weeks or months, also known as kicking the can down the road. Without it, 20 percent of the government shuts down, including some veteran services, military construction, and food and drug inspections. But unless there's a border deal and a budget cut, a group of hardline Republicans in the House says, shut it down. We're in $34 trillion in debt. If we're going to pass anything moving forward, we need a very limited government funding deal. Democrats say they have a plan on the table that secures the border and keeps the government open. But the price tag is $1.6 trillion for the rest of the fiscal year. So can they get it through the House? We're having uh, thoughtful conversations about funding options and priorities. At this point, House Republicans can't organize a two-car funeral. January 19th is just the first deadline. Without a deal, the rest of the government shuts down on February 2nd. In Washington, Caroline Shively, Fox News.